Welcome to Essentials Explained. Today we'll be talking about how to print Excel documents or convert them to a PDF. We'll talk tactically about how to utilize the Page Layout tab to manipulate your range to show only the data you care about. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump in. So let's talk about how you could present this data or how you could output this data. I found in consulting, you didn't utilize printing Excel documents or PDF in Excel documents too much. In private equity, you do it a lot. So it is helpful to understand how you might translate a workbook like this into a printed document or a PDF document. First thing I'm going to say is how do you print a document, right? Or how do you make a document a PDF? So you go up here, you go file print, and it will show you this Microsoft print to PDF, or if you have a printer, you can select that option. Another way I like to do it that I think makes this really quick is you can go file options, quick access toolbar. And then in this popular command section, you can go down here, print preview and print. If you add and then say show quick access toolbar, I like it above the ribbon, you can hit okay. And it'll actually give you commands up here. We haven't talked about this, but this is actually a super helpful way to add shortcuts. So if there are things in here that you do a lot that you would prefer to have up at the top, that's a really fast way to add them. And you can toggle this. If you want to show this below the ribbon, you can also show that there. But for now, I'll just show you where the print preview option is. And I'll just leave this above the ribbon in print preview and print. But you can click things. You can add them here. You can remove them. You can drag them around really helpful tool if there are items you would like to use a lot. Hit OK. And so I can also click up here. That will pull up my print preview or I can hit Control P and that will do the same thing. Number of different ways to pull up the print menu. Let's talk about what we might want to do. So if I click on this, this looks OK. You know, it's not terrible. It's, it's maybe a little bit small. One tip I'll give you guys is go into this page layout tab. This is really going to be your best friend and going to be super, super helpful for formatting your output. One thing I always look at is the scale. This will give you a really good sense of when your document is gonna be printed out and it's gonna be really, really small, right? If I go to maybe some of these other ones, you can see it's 63%, this is 55%, this is 99%, so pretty good. If it's you know 40%, it's gonna be really hard to read. So use this as a reference. First thing I would do is look at the orientation. So. This is portrait, that's gonna be long ways, or I think some people, I think we used to call this hamburger and then this is hot dog. So if I change this to landscape, you see how the scale changed to 91%. That's because Excel is able to fit a lot more of my data on one page. So if I flip that back to portrait, I'm at 67%. If I click at my print preview, you can see it's just shown a lot smaller because Excel has to scale it to fit it within its current aspect ratio and on that page in that format. So I'm going to make this landscape. I'm going to go back to print preview. This bled into a second page. So you see how there's a second page here. You can also see that with this dotted line. If I make this a little bit bigger, you can see this dotted line where it says page two. That's the advantage of using this page break preview. If I just had this on normal, this would show it because I have a set print area. But if I went to print area and said clear print area, it would show me this line, but it's, it's hard to know what's there. That's why I like to use this page break preview. I think it makes it really, really clear what's going to be printed. So that's helpful. If you want to make everything on the same page, you can toggle through this. So if I want to say height one page with, I could leave automatic and that would be the same thing, or I'll just leave it on one page. So if I go print preview, now I think we have a pretty good output. Everything's being shown. It's all on one page. It's in a horizontal format. That is great for me. Let's go to the next one. So some ifs, what are we going to do? We go here, we have the same issue, right? This, this is obviously really, really small because it's being output on a portrait. If I change this, right? So 63% is the scale. If I change this to landscape, it goes up to 86%. So if I go to output, you can see it's obviously quite a bit larger and a lot easier to read. I still think there's probably some things we could do to clean this up. If you look, you have a lot of white space here. And I think what's really the constraining factor is your columns are too wide. If I came in here and let's say I just, I wanted to make 
these columns a little bit smaller. I could come over here, Alt H or W will pull up your column widths. Let's say you want to make this 10. Let's say you wanted to make all of these column widths uh, 10 and then make these separators really small. So Alt H or W, let's do three. And so if I copy these and then I'll paste column widths across. So paste special control V W will give me that. I can go back here and see my page layout. Now it's at a hundred percent, right? It doesn't even have to scale it at all. And if I hit print preview, you can see my numbers are a lot bigger. Depends how you want to show it. Maybe you don't want your numbers this big, but I have found the bigger the numbers, the better they are, unless people complain at you for having your numbers too small. Let's go to our count ifs output. So again, we could clean up some of these column sizes. I think this LTM columns, you know, a little bit big, right? Quick way to do that. I could come over here. I could just select this, hit control C, go to count ifs output, select all of this, control V W. And that gives me you know, the same column widths. This is probably too wide here. So maybe I want to do like eight and maybe I make this 1.5. So it's really small. Then I can copy this and I can paste all these column widths across to make it really small. Page layout, you see I'm at 55%. It's because I'm in portrait, right? If I pull this open, it's really small. If I go landscape, now it goes up to 75%. Still a little bit small because my columns are so wide, but obviously a big improvement. Let's talk about other things you might, you could do. You could shrink the margins. So we can see we have pretty big margins here. We're at 75%. Let's say I wanted to make these narrow, these margins super narrow, right? Now I'm up to 82%. My file is quite a bit larger. I could also add custom margins. So if I wanted to come in here and say, you know, maybe I actually want like no margin on any of this, which I would not recommend, but I guess you could do if you really wanted to, you could go up here, print preview, and that just makes the page super, super dense. But I think that looks bad, so I wouldn't do that. Margins, let's just change this back to normal. So just to show you some additional functionality, I'm just gonna insert a bunch of rows here and insert two copies of my data. So I'll come down here, I'll paste that in there. Oops, didn't make enough rows. I'll come back, I'll select this. And then let me just make this last one like a, a shade of yellow just to make it really, really obvious that this is the last one. So again, you can come up here, you can drag your print area around. So that will adjust our print area. Other way you can do it, you can select the last cell you want, highlight the selection you want, Alt P R S will set your print area. So right, highlight P R S. Now my print area is selected. If I hit, you know, maybe I go up here, I can clear print area and then I can come up here. I could also click set print area. Two different ways to do that. So, now we have a situation where our tables are, our, our page is pretty big and we actually probably want this on multiple sheets, right? You can see Excel saying, put this on multiple sheets. I could come in here and I could force it and I could say, put this all on one page, but scale, right? Drops down to 51%. So it gets really small. This is not how you want to output this, right? It's super confusing. It's super dense. The numbers are really small. What you're going to want to do is use multiple pages. So, one way you could do this is you could do simple two pages and Excel will put this blue line in there to show you where it's going to have a page break. If you go up and use print preview, you can see you get the first page and you get the second page. The annoying part about the second page is you lose this header. So what you actually would probably want to do is go in here. And if you click this page setup option and go to sheet, you can select certain rows or certain columns to repeat. So if I go to rows and I select one through three and hit enter and then hit okay, I can now go to my print preview and I have my first page and my second page where my header is repeated. So if you've ever gone through and repasted your headers down here and, and tried to recreate that so you could print everything on one sheet, this is the much faster way to do this and much more automated is just select 
rows to repeat, and they will repeat throughout your print output. So I will just control Z to not break everything, but helpful to understand how you can repeat your rows. And if I wanted to do the same with columns, so let's imagine you had a file that has a ton of different columns. You may want to repeat columns. You can also do that with columns to repeat at left. If you have a number of these different categories and want to repeat maybe column B, so you get your, your franchisee tags without having to repeat them again in your sheet. So that's very helpful. Header and footer can be nice. So, you know, page one of, you can do a date, you can do a number of different things here, right? You could put the, the sheet name, you could put the page number, you can do a lot of different stuff with this. And so I think this is looking pretty good. Maybe we could shrink the columns a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that here. Small franchisee output, you can see it's already scaled 99%. So we're probably in good shape. It's always a good way to check. You can see it's on two pages, which is kind of annoying. So we'll just need to force Excel's hand to say, put that on one page and we're fine. We're still at 96%. So this is good to be output and good to be printed. So if I were to select all of these sheets and go up to print preview, I could pretty quickly just do a quick check before I converted this to a PDF where I printed it to make sure that everything's pulling through. You never know if you get you know something weird or you get an extra sheet in there. Always helpful to do a quick check here before actually printing or converting to PDF. If you're interested in understanding how to freeze panes in your worksheet to easily view your data and key identifier columns, please check out the next video in our series linked here. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and leave any feedback below. Thank you for watching.